Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Penetration Testing Bootcamp. This is part of the Open Source Cybersecurity Training Initiative or the project. And um, let's get started with taking a look at what we'll be covering during the class, uh, which will span uh, you know, into various sections. So first of all, I will be covering essential uh, terminology that you know you would want to know when getting into pen testing or ethical hacking for that matter. Secondly, we'll be moving into uh, you know giving you an introduction to penetration testing and the various penetration testing methodologies available to you. Uh, we'll then move on to setting up a pen testing lab uh, for both Windows and Linux so that you can you know you you understand the fundamentals of doing so and you can easily re uh, recreate this whenever you want the way you want. Uh, we'll then move on to passive information gathering. So we'll be working with OSINT and publicly available information. And then, of course, naturally, we'll move on to active information gathering. We'll be talking about scanning, uh, DNS interrogation, etc. And then we move on to enumeration. We will be trying to enumerate as much information from various services on our target as possible so that we have an idea of what we're dealing with. Uh, we'll then move on to vulnerability scanning. So we'll take a look at how to use tools like, ne uh, like Nessus, Open, uh, OpenVAS, uh, and Nikto to perform uh, various levels of vulnerability scanning, uh, either on web applications or on actual hosts. Uh, and that'll help us uh, build a profile of the targets uh, and what vulnerabilities uh, that they actually affect them. We'll also talk about CVEs and the CVSS, or the Common Vulnerability Scoring System. Uh, in section 8, we'll now talk about pen, uh, network penetration testing. So we'll be specifically talking uh, about sniffing, uh, man-in-the-middle attacks, Wireshark, using TCP dump, also uh, ARP spoofing, and uh, generally just network-based attacks uh, that involve, uh, you know, performing like DHC, uh, DHCP poisoning, stuff like that. Uh, after that, we'll take a look at actual exploitation. So we'll be taking a look at Windows and Linux exploitation. We'll also take a look at how to use Metasploit and how to uh, create custom ex exploits, how to uh, actually read other exploits and how to compile them. We'll then take a look at uh, very briefly at uh, antivirus evasion with various tools uh, in Kali Linux. And then finally, we'll take a look at post exploitation, uh, the various tools you can use. So PowerShell, uh, Mimikatz, etc. And then with those uh, dumped password hashes, we can then take a look at password cracking with tools like John the Ripper, Hashcat, etc, etc. And then finally, we'll end this uh, pen testing course with uh, an introduction to web application penetration testing. Uh, so we'll be explaining the fundamentals of how the web works. Uh, we'll talk about the OWASP top 10 and I'll demonstrate the various vulnerabilities, how they can be, uh, how, can they, uh, how can they be exploited and so on and so forth. So that's the entire syllabus. By the way, uh, the slides for this course will be available to download uh, and will be actually documented on uh, our website hackexploit.org um, and we can finally take a look at the, the course prerequisites. All right, so the first prerequisite is that you need to have a basic understanding of how to use Linux as we're going to be using a Linux-based uh, based penetration testing distribution. Um, so if you aren't familiar with Linux or you need to learn the fundamentals really quickly, you can check out our Linux Essentials for Hackers uh, YouTube playlist. Uh, the link to that will be in the description section and it should be annotated in a card above here. So you can get started with that immediately. And finally, you need a good understanding of the OSI model and the TCP IP stack. Uh, we are currently working on a Network Plus uh, course, uh, open source, of course, that will actually take you through this quite well and will actually teach you the essentials of what you need to know. Uh, that being said, uh, this is going to be the end of this video. In the next video, we'll actually get started with section one. We will be talking about the essential terminology and then we'll move on from there. So thank you very much for joining us and uh, we are very excited to get started with this course.